<clears throat> Good morning Aries and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Uthranaya and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the full moon in Sagittarius that is occurring on May the 23rd, 2024. I've already cut your decks and I've shuffled them all nine times each utilizing the numerology of the date of May the 23rd, 2024. So this full moon is, um, full. so full moons are all about culmination points and releasing things that no longer serve us. So the seeds that we have planted uh, during the new moon that was in Taurus uh, had a chance to culm uh, culminate, to gestate, and now we are being called to do some spring cleaning, literally and figuratively, to make room for more abundance and more um, more positive things to be grateful for to come into our lives. Okay, so the Sagittarius full moon is, is uh, asking us to seek joy in life a little bit more and to understand that uh, life is not all about hard work. Okay, all uh, hard work and no play make da Jack a dull boy. Is that correct or what? From The Shining. Okay, so uh, we want to come to this full moon with gratitude when we start and uh, align ourselves with things that we are grateful for, this opens us up and it attracts more things to be grateful for. Now, uh, we are also being uh, pushed here. Uh, the Sagittarius archetype is all about adventure seeking and philosophy. So what kind of things can you expand your mind on in order to increase your freedom and to increase your adventure in, in life? And uh, how can you how can you uh, experience more joy and playfulness within your life as well? All right, so let's dive right in. I'm going to be getting the three cards all together to start instead of going one by one. Uh, so let's see what we have here for us. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Wands. All right, so here we go. The Page of Pentacles. It's a golden card, which indicates that it, there's some positive energy coming in here. And we, it is the, it is an earthy card. Uh, it is the pentacles. So what was I just saying before about the seeds that we have planted? So the page of pentacles is a very studious page. He seeks to learn things on how to uh, develop things and bring things down to earth, his ideas down to earth. He's planting these seeds. And the, if you notice here, the, 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 the environment and the soil is quite fertile. And so whatever it is that he has planted or is planting currently is going to grow into a luscious and fruitful crop. Now, the pages also are the messengers of the tarot. So whatever it is of the seed that you have planted, maybe during the the new moon in Taurus is you're going to be getting some news coming in, right? Because we have here, and this is going to, this is going to prove to be very fruitful for you because we have the 10 of pentacles here. 10 of pentacles is intergenerational wealth. And it is also about everything that you want into and dreaming coming down into reality. It is an earthy sign. You're stable. You are building the foundation for yourself, for your future, and for your family's future moving forward. And then we have the three of wands. So another golden card. So double the positive energy coming in here for you. The three of, I'm going to touch base on the three of wands here because there are some different interpretations that can be utilized for this card on a uh, so this is the normal rider rate deck so if you see here one interpretation is uh that many tarot readers um use is that your ships are finally coming in but so whatever it is that you've been waiting for you see this gentleman looks like he's been waiting a long time and you know your ships are finally coming in but if you look closer, these ships are actually going out, out of the bay. And it looks like this gentleman might have missed an opportunity to board those ships. He's a merchant 
and he maybe came a couple minutes too late and now he is losing out on business that he could possibly have partook in because he was late to the party, late to the, the boarding, right? So utilize this fertile environment right now. We also have Jupiter going into Gemini at the end of the month too. So utilize this fertile energy of this full moon in Sagittarius to plant these seeds if you haven't planted them already in order to like secure this business venture, this job opportunity. If you're an entrepreneur, plant those seeds, maybe put your so we have the, the page of pentacles here, maybe seeking out uh, different means of advertising to get more focus put on your business, put your resume out there, put yourself online, now do some networking, plant those seeds, please, and perhaps do some weeding in your garden, okay? So when in your house or in your business, do some cleaning. Get rid of the clutter. We want to, so with the full moon, we want to get rid of energy and uh, make space for the new. Make, make way, make room for our new manifestations. So we want to clean things that are no longer serving us. We want to get rid of things. We want to purge things that uh, we have to make space for more energy to come in. So do some decluttering, go through your closets, get rid of things that you don't use anymore. And with respects to your business as well, I did this at the new moon. I went through all my papers, all of my files, and I shred everything that I didn't need anymore, making space for the new. Did it put more advertising out on Facebook and Twitter for my business? Updated my website. What seeds can you plant that can allow you to step into this Ten of Pentacle energy to create more intergenerational wealth, to plant the seeds for the rest of your life and the rest of your family's life generation into the future? Because you don't want to miss this opportunity. The, the, seed, the, the environment and the, the soil is prime right now for you to take advantage of. It is fertile and you don't want to miss this opportunity. If you see here as well, this gentleman has polka dots on his little satchel here. This, can in, this indicates, polka dots in the tarot indicate the need to have more fun. So make sure like this is going on in alignment with what the message is for this full moon in Sagittarius is to understand that work is, is that life is not all about work and that you need to also enjoy and have fun. And maybe there are inspirations and opportunities for you and your business or your whatever it is that you're working on, a hobby or whatever it is that you're working on in order to create some sort of stability in your life for your future and your family's future. There can become inspiration coming in for you in things that you might not necessarily associate with your business or your job or whatever. Let me just close this window. People cutting the grass, sorry. So um, go out for a drink, go to the bar, go uh, join um, a group that, that participates in a hobby that you do, join that sports team, um, join a book club, do things that are going to expose you to other people, other ideas like, like the philosopher in Sagittarius, go on, on, on adventures, maybe join a hiking group, join a biking group, go to yoga class, go to some craft things, go to painting club, you might find inspiration and opportunities that come to you uh, that you might not associate with 
making you more money or setting you up for opportunities to make more money or that might help your business or your entrepreneurship or your job but when you do partake in these endeavors that are more joyous and fun and uh, bring more adventure into your life you're gonna find that you're gonna get opportunities um, and it's going to be like a synchronicity that is going to come in for you that is going to help you on your endeavors whatever it is uh, it's gonna look different for everybody because this is a general reading Okay. With the Page of Pentacles, we have pure nature. Yeah, so like this is with this card, okay? And so the Page of Pentacles was about planting your seeds. And this is about pure nature. Look how like whatever the seed that you have planted here is going to bloom into full potential. You have to nurture it. You have to water it. You have to weed it. Weed your garden. Take care of your environment that you are trying to cul culminate some sort of crop. Like this is metaphor I'm speaking in, okay? So fertilize it. You need to, con you can't just plant your seed and expect like like it's just like manifesting right we do a ritual or something and we manifest we we say we want x y and z but we just sit in our house doing nothing and waiting for something to plop out of the sky this is not how the universe works we have to do our part we have to meet the universe in the middle yes we are the universe experiencing itself but this is part of the game we put our intentions out we need to align our thoughts and our mind and our vibration that we have put out into the universe with our actions so you can't just expect something to fall into your lap uh, if you've done a ritual and then you just sit at home and not putting yourself out there. This is calling you to seek out opportunities in the community where you would normally not associate any sort of um, result coming forth to you with respect to what you're working on because it is not related, but you're going to find opportunities and ability to network and possibilities and opportunities are going to be synchronously given to you in things that bring you joy and creativity and uh, things that you can have fun doing are going to prove to be beneficial into your career or your entrepreneurship or your hobby that you're trying to make money on. This is going to lead to you to be able to tap into this to create stability and a foundation for the rest of your future. And, and, and whatever the seed is planted, um, you know, nurture it. You need to follow up with things. You need to uh, update things. You need to revise things. You need to, um, so if you put an advertisement out for a week, you need to, if you, if you know, if you don't have the money right now, take a break and do it in another two weeks, but or change it up. Like you need to keep trying different things to see what works, but you need to nurture it. You need to treat it like a something that you cherish and you need to provide it with fertilization. What kind of food does your goal or your manifestation need? How can you boost it? Okay. With the 10 of pentacles, we have night and day. So, you know, what I'm getting from this card is that when I was saying before, trying things that are different, exposing yourself to situations that are different than what you are working on that have no relation, like it's like night and day. So you're trying things that have absolutely no relation to your job no relation to your entrepreneurial business, no relationship to your other hobby, perhaps what you're trying to work on, okay? Uh, and you're exposing yourself to different things, having more fun, and these things are not related. They're, if you look at them, they look like night and day, but these things are going to prove to be exponentially powerful for your manifestations and for what you are trying to bring into your life to secure your finances. And with the three of the three of wands, we have stranded. Oh wow! Okay, so you see, like my little analogy earlier about him missing the boat 
and missing his opportunity to leave wherever he is because the boats have left. And so now he is stranded. How fitting is that? So he's stranded there. You don't want to be stranded. You want to be moving forward. So don't miss the opportunity to get on the boat. We got another boat here, right? So lots of boats in the last, let the last cards. So don't get stranded. You need to start thinking outside of the box. Like look where this boat is, it's in the tree. It doesn't belong there. Thinking outside of the box, trying new things. You, you're, you're going to alleviate you being stranded if you're going outside of the box and trying new things that are totally unrelated to what you're working on and you're going to find that things are going to start falling in your lap once you start exposing yourselves and having more time and going on that adventure you're going to get inspiration and your opportunities are going to make themselves known to you when you start doing things so please balance your life out and, and uh, pursue things that are fun and that bring you joy Okay, we're going to end off with a card from the Sufi Wisdom Oracle, and it is Beyond the Ego, Surrender to the Flow of Life. Here we go. Make me drunk so I forget about I. Ruin me so I plunge into the house of ruin. I will then become free from the tricks of life and relieved from the duality of the world. Dissolved into nothingness, I will rise above heaven. Deftly and fearlessly, I will demolish my ego. Why should I be stuck in the, in the abyss of life's darkness? Why should I remain like a worm in a cocoon? That's from Iragi. To be truly happy is to be free from attachment to the physical realities of life. Reaching this state requires you to disconnect from the ego self and move beyond thoughts and mindfulness as much as possible. The moment you are free from the ego self, you begin to feel the light soothing your soul. The glow of light will shine from your eyes and your moments will become joyous. This oracle is infusing you with a heightened feeling of weightlessness or soaring toward the light. It is doing so to reduce, reduce your attachment to the ego by awakening your soul. Replace selfish or burdening thoughts by visualizing something you'd like to happen in the future or replaying a scene from your favorite movie or book uh, in your mind. By giving your mind a rest from too much thought, you will make room for the feeling of love and affection. So not working all the time, going in, and balancing your life with a play. Oh, dear one, trust that love longs to set you free by showering you with the secret nectar of existence. Let go of selfish thoughts because they obstruct the deeper mysteries from being revealed to your heart in unspoken messages. Without selfish thoughts, you will surrender more easily and be free to choose the path of love that will change and make you fresh again. This will be the gift, your heritage and destiny from love. The mantra for this full moon for you is, I am surrendering to the generous flow of life. The seeds of love germinate and sprout inside my heart and bloom into unlimited creative expression. I'm going to repeat that. The seeds of love germinate and sprout. We were talking about seeds the whole time during this reading. They are sprouting inside your heart and blooming into the unlimited creative expression. So planting the seeds that are blooming into unlimited creative expression. All right. <laughs> if this reading resonated for you, my dear Aries, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if that is something that you'd like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with this full moon for you, please uh, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Once again, I'm truly grateful for the energy you bring to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful full moon.